Why, Angie? Can I bring something else up? Uh, it's, uh, I mean, I'd hate to get off topic, but uh, the Wii, you guys heard about an upgraded Wii at all? Anyone here? Yeah, yeah. Ton, I have, definitely. Uh, I think, it, now this one, I'm pretty sure this is going to be coming out later this year. Um, it's not even they. It's not even like a Wii 2 or anything. It's just upgraded. It's gonna be black and it's gonna be able. It's gonna have more high def. And apparently, r rumored, it's supposed to be able to play Blu-ray, movies and stuff. Um, that's what I hear though. It's gonna be kind of like a. It, the looks of it, it's gonna look like a gaming DVD player to me. <laughs> but I don't know. It's supposed to just have more high def, high re yeah, higher um resolution. Do you, do, you, do you guys listen to The Wire podcast? The what podcast? The Wire? No. It's it's like an entire Wii-based one, but they, they've they been talking about the second Wii for a while now. Um, I know they went to Reggie behind him, though, and they, I forgot what site it was, had a interview with him, and I believe somebody asked him about it, and Nintendo seems to just be flipping back and forth between things. No, you know we're not having one anytime soon. Oh yes, you know expected this E3. There, it just doesn't seem like we're getting a straight answer. So I don't really know. But as far as what I do know, it does seem to be having some type of high definition DVD player or maybe even Blu-ray. But um, yeah, I've heard that, as far as I've heard, it's just better video quality. Yeah. I I just wanted to say that um. If, if this new Wii is going to come out, and um, I don't think it's going to do very well if, if it's just going to have a high definition, because I personally would not mm -hmm. buy a Wii just for a Blu-ray player. Same. Me neither. Exactly. That's, that's why it's not going to be... That's why they uh, don't have a... You know, a lot of them are big news and everything. This is why this one, they say it's going to come out this year, and you don't hear that many people talking about it, because it's not going to be that, that you know really big of a deal. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I know Wii Gamer 356 points down buying it, but it's still the first time. Uh, you'd buy three of them. Like, yeah, you might go along with his uh, spy clops or his eye clops. <laughs> I love. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I agree with DT. Like, I wouldn't buy the Wii just for high def and Blu-ray because, though, because without the Wii, like, if I don't have any, like, third party titles, the Wii would be, like, probably a good system. I would need to keep it. Because um, because I'm so sick of like boom blocks. <laughs> and, and boom blocks is actually a pretty good game. Some other shit, I don't know, but yeah, that's what my brother, my little brother's friend said to me. <laughs> but personally, I think uh, I I don't I wouldn't buy a Wii just for a color change and just for me. Yeah, because you know, think... um, but a lot of people are saying Blu-ray players. I have no idea how much they are on the market right now. Like. I would imagine they would be a lot, but uh... I saw one for $99. But they have, they're, they're planning on having, you know, the Wii just an extra 50 bucks. So, that's, I think they're trying to keep the price down, maybe. But I still honestly don't think it's going to be a big, big hit at all. Just maybe, another upgraded version. Maybe if someone didn't have a Wii, then they'd buy it. That's well, probably what... The the Two things. The thing is, it's almost impossible to find someone who doesn't have a Wii now. It's gotten that far. Yeah. And the other thing is, it's been a huge, this is actually almost like a fact now, that they're going to release some type of new peripheral to go with it, whether it's some type of vitality sensor, or something to bring in 3D, or some type of helmet, or something that they're releasing <laughs> with this next console. Mm. Like, I know it's YouTube does a lot of Wii videos, I mean, like, Wii, if the Wii U might end up 3D and HD, like... Like, what would you do? I mean, like, would you buy it or would you wait for sales? Hmm. I, I, I wouldn't even buy it in general, first, that's just me. Me, me neither. Yeah. I mean, me. I'm not even that big of a... I've, I've never really been that big of a Nintendo fan as it is. So. Well, I, I, I used to be a big Nintendo fan, but... Her handheld. I, I kind of got, like, um pretty like pissed off that um I got a Wii because I did it <laughs> I, I mean because sure. oh. I, I watched it at the beginning I was like oh it's gonna be so, it's like so cool such a cool console <laughs> and Joy has the you sound like Nick for it yeah but um I bought it and um I like loved it for about um 
half a year or less or something. And then I was like, damn, um, was I high that day? Why didn't I get a PS3 or something? And <laughs> yeah, so now I, I really wish I could go back and get like a PS3 or something instead. Yeah, the uh, online gameplay is supposed to be really bad too. Yeah, yeah, because Nick always plays Mario Kart Wii with, uh, I know Boris plays Yeah, I play with Nick a lot, but, <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, um, I remember when the Wii was out, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta get one, this is before I had a 360, got the Wii, I, it was cool for a couple months, and then there was just, like, this huge slowdown in titles, and I just had nothing to play, and the online system was just screwed up so bad. Yeah, and that's eventually got a 360, and gosh, I am so glad I got a 360. Ever going back to it. Yeah, it's a good point because uh, I had a Wii for a while, and um, I was like, oh, this is really cool. I can't wait to play this. And then I went to my friend Derek's house, and uh, and I played his 360. And when I got home, I was like, I don't want to play this piece of crap. I want to play a 360 online. <laughs> it's like this thing is just boring. So I, I I got tired of it really quick. You know, it just well don't like how. Me. Sorry. That's alright. I'm done. How um I was gonna get the Wii well basically my friend, um Sean, you guys know him, yeah. He was like telling me like um this stuff like oh I'm I'm getting a Wii um in like two weeks or something. I was like, Oh yeah, whatever, I don't really care what that is because I didn't know what a Wii was. And um yeah, he got it in two weeks. Oh, God, he's gonna start like, start like using this all day or something. And then I played it and it was actually quite fun because I was playing like Wii tennis or something. But um, yeah, and I played it and I was like, oh my god, I so gotta get one of these. And then that's that. So I I kind of blame Sean for for getting one. Um, <laughs> did, did you get your Wii like in the first thing? That was gonna wait a little while. Um, no, I, I got my Wii pretty much when it first came out. I pre-ordered it, and it sold out, so I was, like, in line. I was waiting for quite a while for it. Yeah, I was very excited to get it, actually. I was just like you guys, you know. You guys should not feel bad, because I think Nintendo fooled us all, you know. I was also very excited to get it, and when, when, when I got it, I was played some Mario, was Mario Galaxy, then some Mario Kart. It was fun for some time, but then it just got so boring, because... The Wii obviously is focused on the uh, casual gamers, not the hardcore gamers. Yeah. I think uh, I think Nintendo like is really like you know like screwing us over and over all the time because even if you have a look at what uh, Microsoft is doing with the arcades, right? A lot of those arcades, even though the arcade games, the old games, you can play them online. A lot of them with the yeah. Wii, you know, they just give you the arcade game. They make you pay for it, quite a high price actually. And they don't change nothing. They don't even put it online. You know, that's like I, I really do feel like they're just like spitting our face. You know. I think it's um, yeah. It has a lot to do with like. See, you notice that with PS3 and with Microsoft, it's uh, it's really hard to get not hooked on an online game. And it's it's funny with every Nintendo game that I've used, like any every Wii game, it's fun for like a week, and then you just don't even want to bother trying to beat the the game. It's like. But it's like, in all seriousness, it's like, this is kind of boring. And, and like, an online game, let's say Modern Warfare 2, you get hooked on it. Sometimes that's bad, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good seller and it makes people have fun, you know, with Wii. I've never had that. Don't talk about Modern Warfare 2, I am hooked on it. I yeah. think that if, if the Wii, okay, these are the three things that would make the Wii much, much better. Okay, number one, if it had better online experience. Number two, if it had a bit more, like, hardcore games and stuff. Yeah, and number three, a bit more improved controls. Mm -hmm. That would make the Wii, like... They, they need to make some more games that involve, yeah. like, hand play. Not like, because, you know, I don't know if you guys saw yeah, Call of Duty 3, it's like... You gotta hold it up, though. It's just, you know, it's kinda dumb, you know? You gotta make the Wii, make a game for what it's made for. You gotta make some, like, every game should be like, I yeah, don't they know, sh how they corny it sounds, but like Star Wars and sword fighting and stuff, you know? Yeah, but, because, like, I remember playing, like, Brawl.